sent high current at 5000 volts to the detonators. Outer ring of the 32 explosive blocks detonated. They further detonated the inside ring of 32 detonators, creating a concave shock wave with a pressure over 300,000 atmospheres. This intense pressure was then transferred to the uranium and plutonium spheres by the aluminium pusher. This reduced the volume of plutonium sphere and increased the density by two and a half times. At this time, the plutonium core became super critical. This pressure also crushed the gold-plated beryllium neutron generator. The spikes went through the polonium layer into the pallet. This mixed the polonium and beryllium together. The alpha radiation emitted by radioactive polonium was absorbed by the beryllium. After absorbing the alpha radiation, beryllium then emitted free neutrons. These free neutrons were enough to start a chain reaction inside the supercritical plutonium. The sustained fission reaction started inside the 6 kg plutonium sphere and within a millionth of a second, 88 teratons or 24.5 gigawatt hour equivalent energy released in the form of explosion and heat. This tremendous energy created a huge fireball of temperatures more than 4000 degrees Celsius, created powerful shock waves with velocities over 1000 kilometers per hour, and a huge burst of gamma radiation. 40,000 people were killed and another 20 to 30,000 people died later from blast and burn injuries and long-term health effects. Nuclear weapons are deadly.